Y'all niggas can see me. Y'all don't even know how much pain I'm in right now. So we're gonna try to get through this real smooth. Switch freaking locations because niggas is out here walking in the living room and interrupting my video and ah uh, ah uh, uh. How y'all doing? It's been a minute, man. I know we ain't talking mad long. I look crazy right now and shit. Don't worry, your boy Jay is getting a haircut this weekend. So you know all this crazy stuff is gonna go away. It's been what three months? Yo, it's been three months. I just washed my hair too, by the way. So that's probably my hair probably look a little bit even more wop, but Three months. This is the longest I've ever been without getting a haircut since I've been getting cuts. You feel me? Shit is crazy. <laughs> like, yo, I'm ready to get a cut. So, so let's get serious for a second. So 2020 has been a super wild year. You feel me? And it just started. Um, not even just started. We at halftime. And a whole bunch of shit been happening. Um, obviously, we all are aware of coronavirus. That shit fucked up any plan I assume anybody had. You feel me? For the beginning of the year it just set us all back which is cool though sometimes i feel like it set us back but at the same time it's like i don't know i feel like people are a little bit more aware of certain shit now a little bit more um caution about certain stuff i don't know i don't know you feel me people just seem a little bit different people seem more awake that's how i put it on certain shit let's say like that we going through some political shit right now with this whole george floyd shit. hey R.I.P. to my man, George Floyd. R.I.P. to all of the young black men that had passed away during, uh, due to freaking police brutality and all this extra shit. Young man, old man, any black man, anybody, period. If you got fucking police brutality, police brutality shit, that shit is a dub. That's why I be telling police could suck dick because they don't be protecting nothing. They just be, they don't protect nothing but themselves. Or look out for their own people, their own other police officers, you feel me? They're not really here to protect us, especially us people of color, you feel me? They're not here for us. And it was like, yo, some we had, I, I love the movement that had been happening since. It's unfortunate that it took a tragic event to unite everybody, but sometimes that's how shit goes, you feel me? And um, I'm glad that everybody is... Like, I'm glad this spread awareness, all the protesting, all the, even the looting, I'm here for that shit. You feel me? Um, you call me, call me fucking Huey Newton. Call me Fred Hampton. I'm here for that, all the destruction shit. Not even just the destruction shit, but just to be heard. You gotta feel our pain because we've been out here eating a lot. We've been taking that, yo, and that shit is crazy. That shit not fit. So you feel me? I don't give a fuck about none of that looting shit or them protests. I want people go through your thing you feel me but it's been calming down you know and we did have seen somewhat justice me personally that second degree like he got the man that killed my son george floyd got into the second degree i really feel like he need first degree i don't know what the fuck is the argument about i don't even understand how y'all don't think my mans don't deserve first degree murder like Bro had his whole kneecap in my man's throat piece man personal shit i've been i had some injuries um in the beginning like I had bust my eardrum like earlier this month. What was it like last month? I had burst it. I had punctured it a little bit. It had healed back up, but that was some painful shit I was going through. You know, it's a lap I had to get over that. And it's just a lot of stuff that kept setting me back from posting videos. Well, you know, now that stuff is, I'm trying to like, you know, shake everything back up and get us back on track. And I haven't been the most consistent, not even half of consistency I have shown y'all, you feel me? Since probably like, Back in my younger days when I was making four videos a day, you feel me? I ain't gonna lie too, I low-key like developed some type of like, my anxiety increased over the fucking, um, increased over the years, you feel me? So it's like, yo, talking in front of a camera right now feel like a little uncomfortable, but I feel like I could break back into it. It just, I'm, I'm just not used to it like that no more, you feel me? So, yeah, it's like, I wanna, I, you know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna vlog this weekend. I always say that, but I'm gonna dev vlog this weekend, because why not? There's no reason why I shouldn't be able to vlog. So I'm going to try to vlog this weekend. Try to break it back into it. Hopefully, I'll mess with the vlogs. After the weekend, I will try to post some reactions. Now, I know everybody, like I said, everybody's been fucking with the throwback reactions. Even though I posted those two years ago, they still be getting traffic. People still commented on them every day, too, and asked for more throwback reactions. So I will get back onto it. Now, for the people that's in the hate, like the hate comments that's in those reactions, though, because... I got a couple of hate comments, you feel me, from some of my old videos about, oh, um, what they was talking about, how I don't know nothing about music or all this extra shit. Look in here, man. Look here. Shut the fuck up. You watching my video. You don't like it? 
You know what you could do? Close the fucking app. Close the video. You don't have to watch my video. I don't care if you watch my video. That's the crazy part. Like, niggas be on the keyboard like... <laughs> that shit not hurting me, bro. Like, you just really looking like a geef head. I'm out here looking at the comments like, yo, these niggas is really going hard. Like, um... I was reacted, me and Lace, we had reacted to a Foxy Brown probably like a couple years ago. Not even a couple years ago, two years ago. We had reacted to a Foxy Brown song and me and her both have never listened to Foxy Brown. So that was like our first song we listened to her. We're not really up on her like that. Obviously, we know who Foxy Brown is. We just haven't listened to her music, which is cool. We bump into Shorty and we just said one thing. Yo, her and Little Kim got comparisons. Ah, shit. You should see how... Crazy, they start sucking ass in the comments. Oh, Foxy Brown is better. Foxy Brown came out first. I don't care. Do Foxy? I don't even know Little Kim or Foxy Brown. Do y'all? Bugging, bugging for no reason. So like, yo, said all that to say, hey, I come back with these reactions. Yo, it's either you like them or you don't. Everything's not for everybody. And I'm not gonna be for everybody. And everybody's not gonna like me. You feel me? But your bum ass comment. I don't care for it. Take that shit and go somewhere else. Find another channel and go comment under their shit. You feel me? You don't not have to watch it. That's that. Talk about upcoming stuff. Now, upcoming, like I said, I want to vlog this weekend. So, upcoming, I want to start making more vlogs. The pranks. Now, what, the, the thing with the pranks is, like, pranks take a little bit more time. Because me, like, me, I'm hard to catch with a prank. Lace is kind of hard to catch with a prank because we know each other's tendencies. It's, like, real hard to, like... I don't know. I don't know how to really describe it. It's like real hard to really try to prank her, but I'm gonna I'm I'm catch up with some shit. Don't worry. I got some shit lined up. Sometimes you gotta take a second off of YouTube so you can plan. You feel me? I got like five video ideas in my head. So like the pranks, it did. It does take a little bit longer to come out. So don't expect to prank every week, but most definitely I'm gonna have pranks on this channel. You can look out for some reaction videos, throwback and new shit. You just put me on, just comment what type of videos y'all want me to react to as well. As the reaction videos, I thought about bringing gaming videos back. Now, I'm I'm kind of debating because I want to wait until the PlayStation 5 come out. And you know, there's like more games like GTA 6, 2K21, shit like that. You feel me? So, I'm going to see. You know, it's crazy. 2K21 going to come out to, um this year, though. Like, what? That shit usually, 2Ks usually come out like around September, October, November or some shit like that. I don't know. But yeah, I was waiting for a new game to come out. Something that's trending out, start back up on the gaming because you know that used to be fun i used to do that shit back in the days and it used to be fun and it never got views on here but it was fun to me and i'm all about the content i like to make and that's fun to me because that's what keeps me interested in posting when i stopped posting it was just like yo i stopped i stopped being interested in in like the videos i was making and all i lost the interest in the videos i was making i didn't want to sit there and just react to people videos all day because i like to create my own content as well um vlogging is probably the, like i was having fun with vlogging when i was doing it i just lost that like i said i just i after i stopped for too long it's like i got uncomfortable in front of the camera and it felt just weird talking to him I don't know, like, I just felt anxious. I just felt like everything I said didn't make sense. And I yada yada, perfectionist type shit. That's what I be on. So it's just, I really hindered my, matter of fact, I hindered myself, really. Ain't nothing really. I'm hindering myself from doing what I got to do. But I know that I'm hindering myself and it's time to get back on track. Because life shit happened, bro. It was mad life shit that was going on where I need to put YouTube on the side, you feel me? Because after this, after y'all watch a little five minute, three minute video, I got to get back to real life, you feel me? And it's, and it's like, you know, life is low key hard as shit. So, you know how that go. But I'm going to try to be as consistent as I can. Not even try to be consistent as I can. I'm going to really try to push myself to be consistent. Probably for the first time in my life. <laughs> you feel me? I never really tried to be consistent at anything. I always just do shit. Do whatever like is in the moment. Like I plan it out sometime. Ah, ah, ah. But with this YouTube stuff, I've been sitting. The whole time I've been sitting out. Sitting on the bench, as you could say. I've been plotting, son. I've been plotting. I'm plotting. and I'm getting hungry. I'm hungry, nigga. I want to get up out of here. You feel me? So it's like, I'm ready to put that work in. I just need to put that work in and not hinder myself. Hopefully, you, I, I hope my shoulder 
heal up. I'm out here bearing the pain right now talking to y'all. That's probably why I'm talking a little bit too fast. Sorry if I don't make no sense. This is just really an update video for people that really watch my video and really fuck with me. And I was probably wondering where I was at. So, y'all there. That. What else I wanted to talk about? Oh, um, last video, right? I had told y'all, you feel me? I be on my little mental health shit and I be wanting to, you know, help other people if you suffer from anxiety, depression, whatever the case may be. You just want to talk, you feel lonely, whatever. If you want to do that, because I, already, I most definitely know how I feel to be alone and it's not a great feeling. So if anybody want to talk, you can do that. Now, I said I was going to leave my email in the last video and I decided not to because I was just... I don't know. I got a little skeptical. I be paranoid, so I got a little skeptical. Like, yo, like I don't know. I ain't want too much niggas. And mind you, I got like a, a like a little bullshit email for like when I just order shit, and I got a professional email. I could give y'all my bullshit email, but at the same time, I don't want people to just have my bullshit email. So if you really serious about that, like you really serious about all this mental health shit, and you need somebody to talk to. You can either comment below. I would probably give you my social media because it'd probably be easier like that anyway because who the fuck, I'm, bro, I'm a young dude who's really checking my emails. Like, I'm not really checking my emails like that. So I could probably give y'all, like, if you're really serious about it, I'll give you one of my social medias. I got Twitter. That can follow me on Twitter. Name's JX. Follow that. You feel me? You can follow me on Twitter and I could most definitely reach out. You can reach out to me there and hit me up. Just comment below and actually t let me know if you want to really talk. I'm here to talk to whatever. Any of my subscribers, you feel me? I'm here for y'all. Y'all watch me. Hopefully, y'all fuck with me, you feel me? I mean, I got to. Y'all been rocking with me. I've been seeing y'all comments. I've been seeing all the good comments, too. Not just the hate. I see all the people that tell me, keep going. I see all the people that's telling me, yo, post. You need to post more so you can... I feel like you could pop if you post. Yeah, I'm hearing that. Even people in my neighborhood is like, yo, bro, like, we missed the videos. Like, come back, you feel me? Like, I, I really did fall off this shit. But I really got the motivation back. I lost the motivation, you feel me? And that's normal. To lose motivation is stuff sometimes. Sometimes you don't get the results that you want to get, and you get discouraged. That's how I felt. I was posting like four or five videos a day, and not even saying that I wanted to see a certain amount of success. Like, I ain't saying I was going to get, I wanted a million subscribers right then and there, but I felt as if, not even I felt as if, but you know, you're younger, so you, you're a little bit like, oh man, I've been putting in this, so why isn't it, I'm not getting back the subs, or why I'm not getting the views, or all this work I put in, and sometimes it just don't work like that, bro. I learned how to be patient. I learned how to be patient. I'm still learning a lot, and I'm just trying to, um, yeah, just really trying to plan, map out everything, because... Son, the most strongest people is organized. And I'm a very organized individual. So that's that. I just wanted to talk to y'all. Hopefully everybody's doing good. Hopefully y'all y'all been safe through this corona stuff. I know I've been Gucci. Hopefully everybody did. Even if you did catch it, hopefully you overcame it. If anybody had people that passed over the corona, because I know people that passed from that shit, A, R.I.P. to them. I send my condolences. And my good stuff, man. I just hope everybody's being easy out here. And just stay tuned, because Jay is returning.